hey hey what's really going on bitcoin cryptocurrency going to be taking a look at xrp against us dollar tether on the binance chart going to be assessing some of the key technical aspects of price action moving forward i'm going to be looking at some of these significant levels i believe we're going to be interacting with in the near future here as price action is approaching uh, that swing high resistance found in the middle of april of this year around one dollar and 95 cents we're not too far away i do believe we're going to be seeing that quite soon but is that enough to do we have enough momentum to plow through it and set some higher highs or will we continue to get rejected and uh, trade sideways or come back to some lower levels that we've uh, seen before uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. What are you doing with your XRP? Did you buy a top? Did you sell at a top? Are you trading XRP? Are you holding XRP? Or do you are you not a fan? Uh, what are you doing with your bag if you have one? Um, now, jumping right into it. Um, we can see price action has been very volatile and crazy. XRP likes to pump up or down after uh, consolidating in like a sideways manner for a period of uh, days, so like tens of days, almost a month of sideways. Like after a break upward, a month of sideways, a break downward, and then we had um, a good you know, over a month of sideways before a kind of mini break upward, triggering another phase of sideways for two months. And now we've uh, kind of rallied after this kind of more relevant pump from kind of like, say, 62 cent resistance there, all the way up to $1.96 over the course of 10 days. Uh, we then got rejected and had this uh, kind of 54% correction all the way back down to 88 cents. Uh, we've been recovering quite nicely and uh, the bounce off of uh, this kind of support zone here around a dollar was uh, very nice and very healthy for XRP and uh, this trade sideways and this dip here and bounce again uh, was uh, also quite healthy and bullish for XRP long term uh, and short term. I do believe we can see support along this kind of ascending uh, trend line kind of in my opinion. I do believe support can be found kind of along in this kind of manner. Uh, price action uh, I suggest I suspect uh, it's going to interact kind of somewhat like this uh, before we kind of continue to break up kind of thing. Uh, I do think we're going to set higher highs. I am still relatively quite bullish on XRP uh, moving forward. Um, although um, we go with the flow of the market and if we do decide to get rejected off of uh, kind of a like a lower high here, say we get rejected off of like a dollar 84 and we come down, um, then I suspect um, a lower kind of local support can be found just above a dollar here um, where price action kind of recovered from previously. So when we consider engineering robo along with these feta zucchini lines, um, we have kind of a new perspective kind of coming into play. So uh, we have engineering robo starting to get bullish again on XRP, um, along with the fear and greed index being right above uh, where price action is currently trading at. There seems to be a little bit of resistance there. And so um, that's usually to be expected around uh, the FOMO zone as um, sell pressure is very high. Traders are taking profit. And this is a, um, you know, this would be a very key range to be, um, you know, taking profit at if you were trading, um, if you're accumulating over the course of time. Like many of it, investors, long-term investors take profit as it break profits at these levels. Um, and so traders, uh, perhaps would use the support and resistance strategy, Fibonacci levels, um, and other uh, kind of uh, you know buy and sell suggestions to uh, trade and take profits. Whereas the fear and greed index is more for long-term holders. Uh, so say you're accumulating back in the fear zones here, say in like December or in like January of the, this year. So you bought in uh, around like in that kind of time. So you bought in around um, 26 cents uh, in January of 2021, and you held until our first interaction with the FOMO zone. You made a uh, 564% in uh, just over a couple months. And so that's if you held through all this sideways, all this nonsense, and you waited until our interaction. And so we, now we seem to be interaction, interacting again with the FOMO zone. Um, although this time we have some uh, kind of buy signal supporting this kind of break upward on our next interaction to it. And, and so with the FOMO zone, we can have kind of one of two things occur. We can enter the, the FOMO zone, get rejected because there's tons of sell pressure and prices come right back out of it and have to kind of reaccumulate. Uh, if the coin is bullish enough, it can trade sideways within the FOMO zone and stay kind of volatile enough to kind of push upward again because uh, FOMO is is very much present in this zone and so tops are bought and rallies continue um, and so if the coin is bullish enough it can fight the sell pressure present um, and kind of you know kind of rally very volatile in a very volatile manner kind of up or down and so now with this buy for and early bird coming into play um, with our next kind of interaction with this kind of zone here say we were to hold this 0 0.786 line kind of where we are right now uh, say prices hold here i do believe we can kind of come up into the fomo zone quite quickly and interact with the uh, kind of almost two dollar level there and so with these kind of buy signals i suspect we can that can pump us into the perhaps multi-dollar to you know let's say like dollar fifty even before we see another correction another pullback another bit of sideways um and so i mean 
XRP does like to you know, trade sideways for tens of days before pumping. And so from that swing high to kind of current levels, we've been trading for almost a month. Um, it'll be a month and about a week. And so, I mean, we could have, you know, perhaps another week of sideways um, before we continue upward. Although I do believe we have are approaching a, um, a bit of an end of uh, accumulation here. Um, and so with this hell still present, um, there is a chance for a break downward and a continuation of this kind of sideways. Um, although with a buy forward and early bird, uh, a break upward um, is to be expected as well. So a bit of indecision in this kind of pivotal stage. We are interacting with resistance at the moment. So we do have to be kind of careful with momentum at the at this kind of stage uh, at, and price action as um, you know a break upward or downward is kind of pending. As prices are very sideways, they're, they're very up and downy. Um, prices are consolidating very nicely uh, between these kind of two zones. If we consider the price of XRP against the ever so volatile almighty Bitcoin, uh, we can see price action interacting with resistance as well along this uh, kind of 28.92 Satoshi level. Although we are printing some higher highs, we're making that short-term bullish and does and that does expect us to, uh, you know, be able to hold or gain against Bitcoin over the pending price action that Bitcoin could have. Um, I do suspect price action could unfold in a similar manner, um, kind of like this uh, before kind of coming up. Um, so I do believe there could be a kind of couple of days of sideways before continuing. Um, if we can't can cover, cover kind of where we are right now and have like another kind of spike, you know, and kind of spike up, up past this 2897 resistance and confirm it as support and continue to make uh, some higher highs. When you consider engineering robo along with these FIBA Lamborghini lines, uh, we can see price action still looking uh, rather bullish long term, although we still have this sell for present uh, moon early bird and cloud buy and price action closing above the 200 daily moving average is uh, still very bullish long term and does suggest we can gain against Bitcoin still. Um, although this sell for present uh, does suspect some some sideways and perhaps some further continued downside. And so uh, in the short term, we could consolidate for a couple of days, although I do believe um, we can kind of find support quite quickly here along perhaps one of these Fibonacci levels as um, these this is my 28.92 uh, Satoshi level there does seem to be correlating nicely with the 0.382 Fibonacci line. Um, so that does uh, significant, uh, give that resistance kind of more significance. And I do believe support can be found. I'm hopefully above this 0.5 Fibonacci line, uh, which would be kind of way more short term and uh, would be much nicer for the uptrend in the, uh, in the short term, like I said. So I do expect price, price action could wick down there if we do consolidate any more bearish matter and we fail to hold that 0 0.5, 0 0.618 does seem to be my next uh, key significant uh, local midterm support um, if we were to kind of come all the way back down to these levels. So there's lots going on with XRP at the moment. Um, this is like one of several coins that are appearing to look like they have this kind of double top-ish pattern. If you look briefly back at the USDT chart, um, I wouldn't call it a double top just yet, um, although price action is interacting with resistance. Um, so when we consider the price of Bitcoin against US dollar tether, along with the fear and greed index, we can see uh, Andrew and Robo looking to get bullish again with this buy for trying to print. Uh, we still have the um, hell present and the sell two and sell three, um, although we have the early bird and super buy coming in at the, um, you know, uh, end of April there of this year during the sell four. And so that was Andrew and Robo trying to get bullish. Now we have the sell four yet again. Um, like I said, showing a very uh, strong bullish sign short term. And so, I mean, this 57K resistance was very significant in the past kind of week or so that um, caused us to get rejected, slapped all the way back down to 53K there, which we were very um, quickly bought up and, you know, skyrocketed all the way back to it, um, traded sideways for a couple of days. And now we seem to be, after some kind of higher highs, we seem to be plowing through 57K. I suspect a bounce off of the kind of 60 to 61K level to bring us back down to 58K before we kind of continue upward. Um, although price action in a very volatile manner could um, make its way upward through my resistance and start closing in these 60k levels are 61 62 and we can see all-time highs very 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 soon um, hopefully we don't go straight up vertically I would like us to kind of interact sideways um, and create some higher lows higher highs along the periods of kind of coming weeks before we kind of see all-time highs again although you never know with the momentum of Bitcoin if we do get rejected off of um, you know the you know, lower highs around like, you know, the 60K range there, say we get rejected off of the 61K or say we can't print a, a high all time high past 64K, then, you know, we could see some more uh, kind of midterm bearish uh, examples of price action. But I mean, so far we seem to be very, very bullish long and short term yet again. And so now this W pattern that um, could have played out if price action got rejected from 57K uh, does not look like significant enough to kind of come back down. So I do I do believe if this rejection, um, say we got rejected today, instead of printing upward, we uh, printed downward, 
I would have suspected interaction with the low 50s to high 40Ks again before kind of seeing uh, the uh, all-time highs. I, I would have suspected that to be our kind of all-time local bottom there, and uh, we would have been kind of gaining pretty quickly from that point on, although we seem to be recovering very nicely from the uh, dips back in the end of April there. Um, and so uh, entry in Robo seems to be getting bullish again. We have the FOMO zone all the way up there at 88K, and so... Um, the longer, the longer we trade sideways, the more bullish we can get long term. Um, the higher the FOMO zone goes, the higher the uh, potential top is of this kind of bull run. And so I do believe we can be interacting with that FOMO zone here very quickly, uh, perhaps sooner than you might expect. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hearing my analysis. Uh, check out Engineering Robo, free with a link in the description. Subscribe here on YouTube. Check out all the social media down below. What are you doing with your Bitcoin? Are you trading Bitcoin, holding Bitcoin? Are you not buying yet until we break all-time highs? Or are you buying all these dips? Um, or are you... Um, you know, worry to buy in yet as it's too volatile. What are you doing with your XRP? Do you hold XRP? Do you trade XRP? Or are you not a fan of XRP? Uh, what are you guys doing with your bags if you have them? Are you holders? Are you investors? Or are you traders? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hearing my analysis and tune in for the next one.